Let's now do the calculations for procedure B. It says take the average of your two measurements. So my two measurements or our two measurements were 99 watts and 96 watts. So I'm just gonna put 99 and 96 here. Those are in watts. And they're also in uh, joules per second. And if you wanna copy anything, you can always just highlight it, hit copy, then paste down below. So those are the same sets of units. Now what I need now is uh, I need to take an average and I'll write average right, well, yeah, let's do it this way. Cut and paste, let's do the average there and we'll do equals. And you can, you can do this in your calculator on your pieces of paper, it's fine. Uh, as sad as this little face looks right now uh, with the parentheses and the equals. But it's fine, and so I'm just going to go and click on 99 plus 96 cell location. Close the parentheses. This tells Excel order of operations that you're going to do the addition first, and then we're going to divide it by two, and that works out to be 97.5, which is fine. Uh, you can also do the average, average using the equals average command. And you can see, as soon as I start typing this, it comes up with a bunch of different functions that you can use. I'm going to click on average, and then it automatically sets it up for me. This time, I'm going to click and drag, close the parenthesis, and you get the same thing. So here's the formula. One formula is just take the two, uh, add them up, and divide by two. That works. Then here's the formula two equals average. And then you click and drag over the data that you want. And these copy and paste have the same watts and joules per second units. That was the first calculation. Let's see about the next one here. So it says, uh, uh, oh, calculate the total energy for grinding. To do this, multiply the energy times the seconds of grinding, assumed to be 10 seconds. Well, it doesn't matter how much. So what we found is that each second, it was about the same. And this will play in because when you make your coffee, when you grind the beans, whatever grind you use, the longer you grind, the more energy you take. So this is going to be, uh, uh, call it cumulative energy for 10 seconds of grinding. And I'm just hitting tab, 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 or arrow, arrow, arrow to get over here. And I'll put an equal sign there. And then I come all the way over here so it doesn't hide anything. And I'll write equals. And I'm going to take my average, either one, and times it by 10. And I'm multiplying joules per second times seconds. So my units here will be just joules. And I will now point out to you by bolding them, the amount of energy it takes for grinding, 975 joules, and the cumulative energy for heating the water, bold, 468,000 joules. So grinding, not a big contribution to the total energy for this process. And... See if I can do this. 